Hello, everyone. Today, I want to talk more about uh, Go Sick and uh, Solver. So actually, um, I have already had two videos. Uh, one is how to create uh, memory matrix uh, for salary increase with Go Sick function, and one is how about creating uh, the memory matrix with Solver. So. Um, you can find them from the links or uh, at the uh, to the video at the end of the uh, at the end of this video. Um, but what I want to elaborate today is actually like the difference between Go Sick and Solver, um, and also on top of that, I'm gonna the next three videos I'm gonna talk about first like the difference between Go Sick and Solver, and second how you can use um, VBA macro to uh, to create a solver, and then uh, the third one will be a, a, be about how to use macro to. Um, to create multiple solvers with one spreadsheet. Okay, so now let's begin with the first one, the difference between go sick and solver. Some people uh, probably thought they can be uh, used interchangeably. Um, in the simple cases, yes, uh, but then solver is actually more comprehended than Okay, so now let's look at the example for Go Sick. So this is a sample employee database, and we have a total budget of this amount, which is essentially three percent of the total payroll. And we have also have a merit matrix um, that's def uh, that's defined by job grades. Uh, you can see all the numbers if you look at the formula. All the numbers are linked to the yellow cell. So now. Um, this is a typical case where we can use go sick, which is essentially go to data tab, go sick, and then you want to set uh, the value here, which is the total spent, to a value of um, this amount, which is essentially 21084, by changing cell this, which is C8, and then you go OK it. And then you see go sick will find you the function there. So that's how uh, easy go sick is. However, if you have multiple uh, targets that you want to hit, uh, then go sick does not allow you to do that because it's only a single goal that you're looking for. So then this is where you would need a solver function. So for example, um, in our case here, we have a sample employee data. We have their base salary, uh, which is again based on the merit matrix um, allocation. We have their salary increase, and then we also have their incentive in, uh, target, which is based on the performance rating. So if you look at the formula uh, here, it's uh, all the formulas are based on the incentive targets. And then essentially, uh, we want, uh, this is their new total target, and essentially we want the total spend for both the salary, base salary and the incentive to be equal to our total uh, budget. So this is a case where uh, Go Sick cannot do for you, and then you would need to this is where you would need um, solver function. So to create a solver, if you have not opened it, you would need to go to uh, File on the top left, go to Options, Excel Options, Add In, Excel Add In Go, and then here you would have Solver Add In. Make sure you click that, OK it, and now when you click on the Data tab, you will see Solver here. So Solver then you click on it and then you set your target of let's say um, this amount to be um, the value of our budget and then we say okay in order to hit that target we want to change uh, both the cell of j7 uh, J7 incentive and the G8, uh, the anchor point for the salary increase. So now, after you set up those two variables, you go solve. And then if you're lucky, you would find a solution. Solver would find a solution. And this is essentially what you are seeing here. 
So this is a very easy sing, single solver function. Um, and uh, let me just show you another example where um, you can use a single solver option with additional criteria. So let's say it's still the same case. Um, we have, we also want to spend the budget uh, for, uh, allocate the budget in bo for both salary and your incentive. And then uh, you have the following conditions that you want to satisfy. First, you want to minimize the gap in the total cash, which is this amount here. You also want the new uh, base salary per increase percentage for grade eight, G11, greater than 2%. Let's say the inflation is 2%. So you want everything here to be greater than 2%. And the criteria two is that you want the new incentive target for good performer in this bucket to be greater than 3%. So again, this is when you go to solver and then you wanna set your objective to a minimum amount. You can see like you don't need to set a specific amount which is required if you have to use go sick. But then for solver, you don't have to. And then you, um, and then you would need to make sure um, you wanna change cell uh, J7 and G11 in this case. And then in addition, we also wanna attach certain criteria here. So for example, let's say uh, we want to satisfy the first criteria, then we just go add. Cell reference would be G11. And then we want it to be greater or equal to 2%. And then you add. Um, and then for cell J7, you want it to be greater or equal to 3%. And then you go add and then OK. So now you have the two conditions here, and then you try to solve it. So again, we are lucky to find a solution here, which is um, the, the gap here the, uh, for the total salaries equal uh, is going to be uh, to like 2.7 thousand, and uh, no, like 2700 pretty much and then uh, you want to also see when you if you have satisfied the criteria of two percent and three percent here so then this is how you can use solver to um, with a, a additional multiple criterias to solve for any solutions you want to have for the model Okay, so that's everything that I want to cover today. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a solver with Excel Macro VBA. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.